Hi guys! I am Andrea Obongi and I will teach you how to change the standard equation of an ellipsis, general form and vice versa. So, let's start! First and foremost, there are two cases of an ellipse. The first one is the horizontal ellipse and the other one is the vertical ellipse. Standard equation of a horizontal ellipse with center at hk is the quantity of x minus h squared over a squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared over b squared is equal to 1. Well, the standard equation of a vertical ellipse with center at hk is the quantity of x minus h squared over b squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared over a squared is equal to 1. And the general equation of an ellipse is ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus by plus e is equal to 0, where a and b is greater than 0 and a is not equal to b. Today we will change this equation, the quantity of x minus 1 squared over 5 plus the quantity of y plus 2 squared over 9 is equal to 1 to its general form. To change this equation to its general form, first we will multiply its LCD to both sides of the equation which is 45. So that will give us 9 times the quantity of x minus 1 squared plus 5 times the quantity of y plus squared is equal to 45. Now we will expand the binomials so it will be 9 times the quantity of x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 5 times the quantity of y squared plus 4y plus 4 is equal to 45. Now we will distribute 9 and 5 so it will be 9x squared minus 18x plus 9 plus 5y squared plus 20y plus 20. Then we will uh, move 45 to the left side of the equation to make it equal to 0. So it will be negative 45 is equal to 0. Now simplify. So that will be 9x squared plus 5y squared minus 18x plus 20y minus 16 since 9 plus 20 minus 45 is equal to negative 16 is equal to 0. So that is the general form of the quantity of x minus 1 squared over 5 plus the quantity of y plus 2 squared over 9 is equal to 1. Now we will change 9x squared plus 5y squared minus 18x plus 20y minus 16 is equal to 0 to a standard equation. Change this to its standard equation. We will group all the x's and the y's together. So it will give us 9x squared minus 18x. It will give us 8 plus 5y squared plus 20y. We'll leave another space. Then move negative 16 to the other side so it will be equal to 16. Now we will complete the square. And to do that, First, we should factor out if necessary, and in this case, we will factor 9 and 5. So, it will be 9 times the quantity of x squared minus 2x. Then, in completing the square, we will divide the coefficient of the second term by 2, then square the quotient, so it will be positive 1. Then, do the same thing to the y's. plus 4, since 4 divided by 2 squared is equal to 4, then is equal to 16. Remember that what you added on the left side should also be added to the right side. And in this case, we will multiply 1 and 9 and 4 and 5. So it will be plus 9 and plus 20. Now we simplify. 9 times the quantity of x minus 1 squared since x squared minus 2x plus 1 can also be written this way, plus 5 times the quantity of y plus 2 squared is equal to 45. We all know that the standard equation of an ellipse is equal to 1, so we divide all the terms by 45. Then it will give us an answer of the quantity of x minus 1 squared is equal to 5 since 45. Divided by 9 is 5 plus y plus 2 squared over 9 is equal to 1. And that's it. 
this is the standard equation of 9x squared plus 5y squared minus 18x plus 20y minus 16 is equal to 0. Another example is 4x squared plus 3y squared minus 8x plus 6y minus 2 is equal to 0. Follow the steps I told earlier. Group the x's and the y's together. Complete the square. Then simplify. This time, one of the denominators is fraction and it's okay. So that's it. I hope you learned something from this video.